The number one predictor for chronic diseases is age. But we all age. Whether we like it or not, every day we become older. And there's nothing we can do about that. But what we can do is influence the way we age. We want to become old in a healthy manner, without nasty age-related diseases, such as certain cancers or Alzheimer's that impact our families every day. Society has been focusing on treating those diseases rather than treating their underlying causes. Like the handyman constantly patching up cracked walls rather than fixing the foundation. So in order to improve healthy aging, we need to address the root cause of age-related diseases. So what key factors determine how the cells in our body age? Well, it turns out that our cells have a building clock, which revolves around the protective ends of our chromosomes. These are called telomeres, and I am investigating their role in aging. Let's think of telomeres as the plastic caps on a shoelace. When these plastic caps are worn down, the shoestring frays, and we would consider these shoes to be old. The same idea applies to our cells. Telomeres protect our DNA from fraying. But as we age, just like George Clooney, our telomeres become shorter and less stable. And those unstable telomeres, they trigger the onset of diseases. Besides age, lifestyle factors such as stress also affect telomere shortening. So technically, this three minute thesis and all the chocolate I ate to cope with the stress probably doesn't help my telomere length. <laughs> but what if we figure out which lifestyle, which lifestyle factors benefit our telomeres to keep our cells healthy so they function longer? That is where my project comes in. I am investigating changes in telomere structure under different stress conditions and how this affects the lifespan of our cells. Therefore, I am using a very novel and exciting microscope that allows me to zoom in on the telomere. Because telomeres are so small, and when I say small, I mean 100 million times smaller than the shoelace, previous microscopes saw this as blur. But now I am able to see the telomere in much more detail, so I can observe changes in its 3D structure over time. We cannot control our chronological age, but we can influence our biological age and live disease-free for longer. My project will be fundamental to understand how lifestyle factors can negatively and positively affect our telomeres and lifespan, because only then can we slow down the progression of these devastating age-related diseases and promote healthy aging? Thank you.